I've got this GS1200 Adventure. It came out with this crash bars. But the problem is if it falls over, the crash bars presses against the, uh, the head cover. And this is fragile, I don't want to damage this. So I need to protect it uh, from collapsing onto the head. So I need to put some supports in here. I saw on the internet that you can buy the supports, but it's quite a lot of money. So I'm going to make my own. So what I did is I took some round tube, it's 25 mils. It's a little bit too short, but it's not a problem, uh, too, too thin, but it's not a big problem. So what I did is I cut this into little quarters like this uh, in halves. So I sliced the pipe in half and I took this off. So I'm left with a, a bunch of these things. So what I do is I just hit it with the hammer on a flat surface so it opens a little bit because as I say, 25 volts is a little bit too small. So now what you can do is you can see it fits around the pipe like that. And it fits around the frame as close to the support as possible. I don't want to put any pressure in between the structures, just as close as possible to the, to the welded section there, the strongest point. So it fits around there and it fits around here. So what I did again is I took some of this round tube, I cut it in, at the right distance apart, then I welded them together, the, the offs and the, 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 the straight pipe, and it fits perfectly like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some hose clamps and just put, you know, fix it uh, there where it is so it cannot move and it cannot fall out. So what happens now is if it falls over, it puts all the pressure onto this strong point here. That's exactly how the ones works that you can buy. But the thing is, this costs me nothing. A couple of welding rods, a couple of grinding discs and a can of spray because it was all part that I had. So it's cheap, easy. The other side is exactly the same. The only difference is because this cylinder isn't in a straight line, it's a bit like this. So I need a little bit of an angle. I do not have a pipe bender. So I just hit it with the amber. I supported it there between something. Hit it with the amber to give it a slight bend and that's all we need. So this exactly fits there as well. Put some house clamps and it works well. Please consider subscribing to our channel and you can do this by clicking on this button and if you want to watch more content like this you can click on this button. Thank you.